All right, it's time to have better weekends. You know, it's Friday. TGIF. That, yeah, that means it's time to plan some fun for the weekend. Yes, Renee Danino from the River 105.9 is here with some great ideas. There are still some things to do, right, Renee? There's a lot to do. There's a lot not to do, but there's a, a lot, lot to, to do. do. So we're going to cover some of the positive, okay? Excellent. Uh, by the way, there's a movie in theaters right now, and it's also available via Prime Video. You do have to pay for it to stream. It's Regina King's directorial debut of One Night in Miami. I love this. I saw it. It's incredible. Yeah. yeah. I've heard, I, I definitely heard about it. This got a lot of press. It has gotten a lot of press. It's what happens when Cassius Clay, Malcolm X, Jim Brown, and Sam Cooke find themselves in the same room. A fictional account of one incredible night with these icons, and they discuss their roles in the civil rights movement and cultural upheaval of the 60s. Take a look. This movement that we are in is called a struggle because we are fighting for our lives. This ain't about civil rights. They ain't giving black people what they really want. What's that? Hey, I was made in America. That's why I'm out here saving America. Power. Black power. I like the sound of that. Uh, I wish I lived in America. We have to be there for each other. Uh, heard everybody rich. All I gotta do is run, jump, kick. I'm gonna get in your area. Uh, I done made it to America. Uh, I'm amazed at America. I'm amazed to America. Wow. Yeah, it's, and it's very on poignant. Amazon. Okay. Yep, That's Amazon great. Prime. You can stream it. It's at the theaters, and the man who plays Muhammad Ali is. I can do that. Incredible. Yes. It's you know. Yeah, you even know how to access that. It's really, really, really good. Are you guys a little bit of a sad story right now? One of my favorite places is being demolished after this weekend. It's sad. The IMAX Theater farewell celebration is on this weekend. It's the last weekend to see a movie in the IMAX Theater at the Maritime Aquarium in Norwalk. The theater is slated for demolition to make way for a federal railroad bridge replacement project. Therefore, they're sending her out in glory, showing as many as 22 fan favorite movies from the past three decades. Special COVID protocols included reduced theater capacity and enhanced cleanings between shows. You have to make reservations and you can visit the maritime aquarium.org slash IMAX to reserve your last tickets. Wow, that's kind of sad. Like an icon going yeah. away. Uh -huh. I but know. I love the Norwalk Aquarium too. It's so nice. You got to go look, see the jellyfish exhibit. Oh, it's, it's really a wonderful day trip if you haven't gone in a while. All right. This is a holiday weekend as we honor and remember the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., one of 10 federal holidays. And for ways to celebrate in person and virtually, I have a link on our Better Weekend blog. And on Monday, this is really cool, you guys. Uh, Monday night at 7 p.m. from uh, it's the virtual concert hall via live stream with the U.S. Coast Guard band. They're presenting a special companion command performance of Joseph Schwartner's A New Morning for the World. Now, the indelible words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. are woven into the music and passionately delivered by retired Master Chief Petty Officer of the Coast Guard, Vincent Patton. You're welcome to join the tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. through the virtual concert hall link. I believe they're showing that on the screen right now, or you could just uh, go to our Better Weekend blog. It is going to be very, very poignant, and it's free, so why not enjoy it? Absolutely. Right, a little concert in your own home. All right, you guys, who needs a little extra love in your life? I, I, I do. mean, how about if, especially if it's from a goat. If, if it's from a goat, I'm in. Cuddling. <laughs> I love this. Cuddle therapy. Cuddling therapy at Bradley Mountain Farm in Southington. You can join the Goat Cuddle Circle. Their Goat Cuddle instructor will lead you through a relaxing session while goats are eating and playing, and they may even snuggle up to you or oh, climb yeah. in your lap. Now listen, the, there's all kinds of activities there. This is your chance to unplug and connect with nature. There's plenty of time to take pictures, socialize, and relax. All ages are welcome. Goat cuddle therapy will be offered throughout the year, but you do need to make a reservation for the next available session. You can even book a private cuddle session if you'd like at BradleyMountainFarm.com. You're talking about your goat art? They actually have all kinds of things you can do there as well. That's what I did. That's where I did it. Oh, at, really? At Bradley Mountain Farm, yeah. I oh. went out and did a story there. His goat made a beautiful picture. It's on his desk. Oh. And then we did goat yoga one time. I'm not sure if it was the same place, but yeah. remember they all stepped on our heads and our backs? Yep, yep, yep. We were doing downward dog and the goats all yeah, jumped on came, our backs. They came here to the studio for that. <laughs> yeah. And then I went to the, yeah, so we've done a lot with Bradley Mount Farm. I really love place. this. I, I tell I, you, it's hard to plank with a goat on your back. It seriously <laughs> is. <laughs> All right, you guys. Teaching science in a remote learning world is pretty challenging. Uh, and and I will throw that over to you, Scott. Yeah, so that's... everyone have a better weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Renee. Do you want me to finish the show no. or you guys got it? I got you guys it. got it? All right, We're back ready. to you. Back to Scott. You. See there? Okay. It says Scott. Zip it.